Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to another Wild Rift video and just before getting into this video, I quickly want to show you guys just one screenshot of the game that I'm going to show you guys today. And look at the amount of stacks. 824 stacks. It was a ranked game. It was like a 30 minute game. I had a really bad team. So you guys know it. Today's video is an absolute banger. So I'm going to teach you exactly how to play Nasus in the Baron lane. How to really, really make yourself like an absolute monster in the late game. And how to absolutely hard carry the games. So in the beginning part of the video, I'm going to explain to you how to build Nasus. I've changed some things, by the way. Because I tested out some items and I've changed my build a little bit. There's timestamps in the description if you just want to go to the gameplay immediately. So, um, there are some parts that are very simple about building Nasus. For example, Trinity Force. Just start with a Sheen and build it into a Trinity Force. It's always going to be your first item. So, I see some people go for the Iceborne Gauntlet. Um, do not do this. I mean, it makes you a bit tankier. It allows you, like, this turns you into more of a supporting champion. You're going to be a tank that slows the enemy. But I don't want to be a tank that slows the enemy. I want to be super giga chat Nasus that absolutely hard stomps the enemy. That's what you want to be. And that's what you need the Trinity Force for. It deals way more damage. So for your second item, uh, make sure you get boots, by the way. I really recommend you to get play... Uh, no, 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 not play the stick up, sorry. Mercury Threads. If the enemy is full attack damage, of course you get the plated steel caps. But otherwise, you always get the Mercury Threads. Because it's just really, really good with the tenacity, guys. For your second item, you want to go for a Styrox mm -hmm. Gage because you this is like this is gonna trigger the lifeline bonus of this is really really powerful, especially because it also gives you tenacity for eight seconds, and you know the enemy just won't be able to kill you easily anymore after getting that lifeline. So for your enchantment, you wanna go for Mercury uh, Glorious Enchant. Um, Proto Belt could be interesting. It could to have like another flash to really engage well. But the thing is, Mer Glorious Enchant is generally better if the enemy has champions like, you know, Cannon that can run away, Camille that can run away, uh, Fiora that can run away. You know, this one allows you to easily catch up to those champions that are trying to run away. So that's why I really like Glorious Enchant. Um, of course, so about Stone Plate, I actually never go for Stone Plate on Nasus because the way that I play Nasus is I actually carry the game. So with Stone Plate, you're going to be dealing less damage. Do not go for Stone Plate, guys. It's not worth it. Shadows, very interesting. If the enemy does not have a, um, a lot of mobility abilities, like flashes, dashes, uh, you know, hook shots over the wall, if they do not have a lot of those, but if they're just really fast, then Shadows could be interesting on Nasus because it slows the enemy by a lot. Teleport, of course, you know, buy it when you need it. But as I said, I generally recommend Glorious Enchant. For your third item, always that man's plate, unless the enemy has a lot of ability power. If they do have a lot of ability power, or if your team has a lot of healing, like if your team has a Soraka, you can actually go for Spirit Visage as your third item. This is a really, really good item on Nasus, because Nasus has a lot of healing on his passive already, and this increases it by 30%. So for your fourth item, it's completely situational. Oh, by the way, if you do, if you go for a Spirit Visage as your third item, make sure you go for that man's plate as your fourth item. This is an absolute core item on Nasus. You always want to build it guys um so randuin's omen is also a really really good item on nasus because in this meta there's a lot of crit damage so if the enemy has two or more crit damage champions you always go for the randuin's omen because it's going to reduce their crit damage and it's going to reduce their attack speed if the enemy does not have a lot of crit heavy champions but if they do still have a lot of um attack damage or attack speed reliant champions even Diana, for example, who is an ability power champion, but she's reliant on attack speed, go for a frozen heart, guys. This one not only gives you a lot of armor, not only gives you the 20% attack speed reduction to nearby enemies, it also gives you the 300 max mana, which is, you know, Nasus actually struggles a little bit with the mana, and it gives you 20 ability haste. This is going to allow you to completely spam the hell out of your first ability. And this is very important for several reasons, which we will get into in during the gameplay part. Now here, this is something really, really weird. Like you guys might be thinking, what the hell is this? This might be a mistake, right? So hear me out. I've been testing and I genuinely think Solaris Charge Blade as your last item is a good choice if you want to do damage. See, normally you want to build another tank item because you already have quite a decent amount of damage as your last item, um, you know, when you reach your last item because you have a lot of stacks. But the thing is with Solari, 
um, you're going to be stacking up the passive super fast because your first ability will be on like a one and a half second cooldown because Solari also gives you 15 ability haste. Um, every time you use your abilities, you get a stack. And when you get the three stacks, instead of having 25% crit rate, you're going to have 50% crit rate. And that's right, that's a 50% chance to crit with your first ability. Now, that's why I find this a very interesting item as your last item. And I actually did go for it in my game. So, you know, when you have a lot of stacks and your last item and you feel like you have to carry the game, get a Solaris Judgment as your very last item. However, it's not the best. You know, another defense item is generally going to be better. But if your team sucks and you have to carry it, then just get the Solaris as your last item. So for your runes, Grasp of the Undying, it's just really, really good in the laning matchup. Also, in the later game, you know, it just deals a lot of it just deals a lot of damage, right? Because you have a lot of HP, so it deals a lot of damage. For my second rune, I go for Triumph. It's really, really powerful in team fights to go for Triumph. Um, you could go for Gathering Storm. You could, but meh. The thing about Triumph is just better because when you get kills in team fights or assists, you're gonna heal up so much. Also, it does three percent more damage to enemies that are under thirty-five percent health. It's something, right? It's just something. It's 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 really nice for just when you take down enemies in team fights and heal up. You can continuously fight then. For my third one, I take conditioning, and you should too because you already have Mercury threats for tenacity, and conditioning is gonna give you, make you so tanky in the late game. Now, especially if you go for my build, which is the Solaris Charge Bit as your last item. Item, you really need the conditioning for the armor and magic resist in the late game because you're gonna lack one defensive item right for your last one sweet tooth because sweet tooth is broken um and for your spells you want to go for flash and barrier you can actually also go for ghost instead of flash but the thing is i already go for uh glorious enchant and flash is really good for like surprising an enemy so that's why i go for flash so enough about the build let's now get into the gameplay <clears throat> So, uh, unfortunately, like the, my video split the gameplay in two recordings, so I'm gonna have to switch to that one real quick after the first one stops, but, okay, guys, this, this, you can already see the smile on my face, and that, that there is a reason that there is a smile on my face, lose or win, I can, I'm gonna teach you so much in today's game, see, the thing is, like, you know, guys, you know what the thing is, every single time I pick Nasus, I just win, and this might sound stupid, but I genuinely have like a 65% win rate on Nasus. And there is, a, there is a reason for that. There is one main reason for that. And then there is other, you know, also important reasons. But let me tell you guys. Uh, no. Oh, this is going to be the hardest test your knowledge that I've ever done. This is going to be a very vague question. But I really want you to think about this one. Because if you get this one right... Then you're gonna you can pick Nasus tomorrow and hard carry the games. What is the main reason that I have a super duper well that I have a super high win rate on Nasus and that I effectively play Nasus in my games? Think about this one. This one is not easy. And if you get it wrong, you know, don't feel too bad. But if you get it right, then you should really give yourself a pat on your shoulders. What is the main thing, like the most important thing that you have to consider? when playing Nasus. Put it in the comments. Pause the video right now because I'm going to reveal it. Okay, what is the most important thing? The draft. The draft, guys. The draft is quite literally where you pretty much, like, if you pick Nasus in the right draft, you already won the game. Let me tell you that. You already, well, not already won the game, but you, you give your team such a huge chance to win the game already. Look at this guy. What is he doing? Does he think that I did not have a barrier or something? He actually dived me like that. Why would he do that? So let me explain. If you pick Nasus into a hard matchup like Fiora, Darius, uh, uh, any matchup, Riven, like Riven absolutely smashes Nasus. If you pick him against a lot of CC, if you pick him against Vayne, if you pick him against, you know, if you pick him against bad matchups, regardless of how good you are on Nasus, you're going to get stomped. However, if you pick him in the right draft, like for example, if you pick him against Malphite, which I did in this game, by the way, but they actually flexed Malphite in the support round. I was, I ended up against an Akshan in my lane, which is kind of unlucky, but yeah. You pick him against Malphite, or you pick him against Cannon, or you pick him against Teemo, you pick him against, you know, you know if you pick him against these easy matchups, 
you pretty much you pretty much increase your chance of winning by 15 percent it's like that important to draft him correctly and there is a reason that the entire first two minutes of this game i've been talking about this because let me tell you guys as as like nas is my i think nas is my fourth most played champion something like that the draft is the single most important thing when you pick Nasus. You want to pick him against a Baron laner who you're not going to be uh, struggling against in your lane because you need to farm. And now we get to the second point of, you know, dominating on Nasus, which is obviously stacking up your first ability. So um, you can, of course, stack up your first ability easily if you're against an easy matchup. Akshan is also not that hard of a matchup. He can be annoying with his poking, but all you gotta do is just farm under your turret, and if you kill him, you you know you can kill him with your ultimate pretty easily. Actually, it's it's like oh, they're diving me. Then you should be fine. Once you get one kill on Akshan, you should be fine. So how do you farm your stacks on Nasus? Let's first start talking about the early game because you know this is. I would say the most important part because you know you want to be getting those first hundred stacks as fast as possible you know to ha to really head start your game because if you're stuck at like 50 stacks 60 stacks you're really gonna fall off in that mid game and you don't want that to happen why is he attacking it why <laughs> you should not attack it so here i can get my trinity force and uh, i'm really i'm am i gonna rotate to the dragon i really hope i don't Because that's where my second point was going to come. You never want to rotate to the first dragon. Like, never. There is not a single scenario that you want to be rotating to the first dragon. Actually, there is one scenario, but that scenario is never going to happen. Which is, if you've already pushed the turret. If you've already pushed the turret and the dragon is still up, then you can actually rotate. So here, you know, I don't even care about the Rift Herald. Like, this is... This is this is what you do. You do not even care as a Nasus. And the, like, the way that I'm going to teach you how to play Nasus, you might think is trolling. And your teammates are going to tell you that you're trolling. But what do you do? You mute everyone and you play Nasus. Let me elaborate. When you play Nasus in the early game, you just you cut everyone off. You don't care about everyone. You, you just cut everything off. And all you do is stack. This is your mindset with Nasus. Bonk the minions with your first ability. That's all you do. Take turrets, take minions, take stacks. That is what you do. Like, as you can see, I got 100 stacks now at 5 minutes, which is decent. You know, it's decent. It's not the best, but it's pretty decent. So here you can see, you know, I'm trying to go on him. And yeah, here you can see, you know, he has that stupid hook, which is really annoying. But there is another thing with your ultimate. Do not waste your ultimate like this. You know, just... just Take some minions with it because the cooldown of your first ability is going to be very low when you use your ultimate so don't waste it just take minions with it and another controversial thing that i'm going to teach you here now is that you could even use your ultimate to just farm up those uh the stones you know the the ones that are here the, the, i don't know what they're called the jungle camps that are here if you if you really have nothing to do you can genuinely use your ultimate and just farm up those minions Oh, here I actually flashed on him because he used his ultimate. If I didn't flash on him, he would have killed me. He would have killed me with that ultimate because it deals bonus damage the lower HP you are. So take a look at this. Again, you know, I don't care about my team. And this is what you do as Nasus. You really don't care about your team. Rift Herald in mid lane, stomping my mid lane. I don't care. They're going to take the dragon. I don't care. What do I care about? Myself, farming myself up, getting turrets and getting stacks. As you can see, six and a half minutes, I'm already at 156 stacks. Now, now we're getting somewhere. Like, see, do you guys get what I'm saying? Imagine that I would have rotated to the dragon here. So let's say I would have. We would have gotten the dragon, but I would have likely been at something like 100 stacks. So I would have gotten the dragon for my team, but I myself would have lost a lot of damage out on that. Is that worth? No. That's not worth it, of course no it's not worth it and don't do it like please guys listen to me don't care about your team even if they trash talk you just mute them like this is this this is really how you're gonna get good at nasus and <laughs> i'm gonna repeat it so many times and you'll see me do it really extremely in this game even in the late game you just don't care about your team so now let's talk about the mid game this is the part like now we are approaching the mid game i can get my sterox gauge which is my which is my second item this is the part where you can actually like where you can actually decide to rotate to your team. 
So do you rotate or do you not rotate? So um, you can rotate and you will pretty much guarantee to win fights unless your team is super behind because this is this is one of the strongest moments of Nasus because the enemy doesn't really have any armor penetration yet and you have a lot of stacks, you have your ultimate, you know, you're going to be really strong in this moment. Like in this moment, I'm going to be very strong. However, my team is really bad. Like, as you can see, we're four on eight. They have a dragon. I am two on one and I just need to farm. I just need to continuously farm. And as you can see, Galio is just saying, I want to help Nasus because he understands that the rest of the team is really not that good. Um, Yet again, you know, uh, it's kind of funny. Because if you've looked throughout the beginning of this game, I have not even I have not even panned my camera to my team. That's how much I don't care about my team. Like I don't even look at the map. That's the, that the, this this is what I mean. I'm not even looking at the map. Like are you guys seeing top lane? I might even I might peek there, but why do I care? I only care about my minions. Like you can see that these guys are fighting in the top lane. I don't care. I'm just gonna use my ultimate, go on this guy, and yeah. Now, is this a wasted ultimate? No, it is not. Why? Because I'm taking farm from it. As you can see, this is what I meant with don't waste your ultimate. Um, you can actually use it to take farm as well, you know, because you take farm super fast with it. Um, because the cooldown of your first ability is going to be reduced by half. Oh, this stupid minion though. The jungle camp, so stupid. I would have gotten the blue buff as well. I'm leaving here because I'm a bit low and they might rotate on me. So yeah, I'm not, not going to risk that, of course. <clears throat> Boom, got that one. Yeah, and I went back because I saw the Malphite coming actually. So you do still need to look at your map a little bit, but yeah, of course, you know, you gotta have map awareness. <laughs> I have my ultimate in 10 seconds. And um, once you approach the later game, once you get more and more ability haste, use your ultimate. Oh, why are they taking my farm? Just use your ultimate, really. Don't keep it for the perfect moment. This is also a mistake that I see happen a lot on Nasus. Don't keep your ultimate for the perfect moment. Just use it. But the reason that... What is happening here? I don't have mana. I was gonna say, the reason that I'm not using it here is because I have no mana. But I still used it. I guess it's fine, but... Yeah, Nasus does have mana problems, as you can see. He does really have mana problems. Um, but what was I saying? Um, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, <laughs> he went away. Yeah, 240 stacks. Yet again, like there is another dragon coming. I could actually rotate and just completely stomp the enemy. Or I could choose to farm even more stacks. Let's see what I choose. Of course, I... Wait, no. Oh, it must be an infernal dragon if I'm going for it. Is it? Yeah, it is. So... That's what it is, yeah. So the only reason you should go for dragon is if it's an infernal dragon. Because that one is actually worth it. It does increase... You know, the reason that it's totally worth to go for infernal dragon. Because it gives you 6% bonus damage. And the enemy still got it. Because I was, you know, I was getting my stacks. <laughs> of course I was getting my stacks. It's because this dragon actually gives you 6% damage buff. That's why it's actually really important. Because you deal so much damage in the late game. So it's kind of unfortunate that they got it. But yeah, it is what it is. So let's take a look at this. I'm just going into them. Starwick's cage saving my ass. But yeah. You can, you can clearly see that it was a mistake of me to rotate to the dragon. You can clearly see that it was. Um, I should have obviously just gone to the Baron lane and farmed up. If I had done that, I would have been at 300 stacks right now. I really want you guys to see how this works. Because in my Crit Nasus video, I explained that you should see your stacks as a currency like money for example do you want to exchange that money or your stacks for your team yes or no and 99% of the cases the answer is no you just want to farm for yourself the only reason that I did actually want to go for it here is because it was the infernal dragon that's the only reason but it was still a mistake as you can see because I literally exchanged like 70 or 80 stacks for nothing for absolutely nothing I should have just ignored my team and I would have been at 300 stacks right now or maybe even 320. So here I'm just trying to redeem myself by getting stacks. Jin is gonna go farm my lane and honestly that's fine. Honestly it's okay for him to take farm. Oh I lost that one. Because I'm just stacking up here you know. Look at these, these, 
this jungle gives you stacks so damn fast. It's really, really good. Jen is just trolling, actually. Never mind. Which is actually good for me, because now I'm not going to lose my stacks. That's yeah, actually fine for me, because I can get the farm now. Oh, I use my glorious enchant. I use my ult. I even flashed. Wow. I'm going hard. Yeah, and you can slow the enemy with that second ability, and then they have no chance to escape. When you use your second ability, enemies have no chance to escape, because they get slowed by so much that they just can't escape. So yet again, my team is just fighting, but I, uh, yeah, you guys know, you guys know the drill. I'm just farming and I'm going to check out their jungle as well. And I'm going to take it because Nazis is really, really fast at taking jungles away from the enemy too. As you can see, like your, your first ability deals so much damage when you have a decent amount of stacks. I have 300 stacks right now. We aced the enemy. So it's free real estate. I'm going to get stacks. I'm going to push turrets. You know, th this is where you really, really want to continuously grind the farm. And that is the only way that you're ever going to get crazy numbers like me, which is over 800 stacks in a game. So um, the speed at which you can farm up your stacks grows exponentially to a certain point. So for the people that don't really fully understand English, let me explain. So the speed that you can stack up goes like this in the early game. Because your first ability is on a 4 second cooldown. But once we reach the mid game, it goes like this. And once we reach the late game, it goes like this. So what I mean with that, the average amount of stacks that you're going to get per minute is going to be really low in the early game. However, it's going to be incredibly high in the late game. And now we are approaching the late game because take a look at this. My first ability is on a three second cooldown, which is still pretty long, but it's way lower than in the early game. In the early game, it's like five or six seconds, actually. So here, um, once you get those ability haste items like Frozen Heart, Solaris Charge Blade, you know, once you get those items, that's where you become, you know, that's where you can actually start stacking up super fast. So here, I'm not even bothering with the Lee actually. I'm just, you know, just getting my stacks, especially those big cannon minions. Um, after 12 minutes into the game, the waves change. Instead of being one cannon minion and then zero and then one cannon minion and then zero cannon minions, it changes to being two cannon minions and then the next wave has one and then the next wave has two, the next wave has one. That's how it works. So you're going to be able to get um, to effectively get more stacks per wave. You know, like if there's two cannon minions, that's that's 24 stacks per wave. Instead of if there is no cannon minion at all, it's only 16 stacks per wave. You guys get the point here? So when you reach the late game, don't ignore your stacks. Don't be like, yeah, I already have 400 stacks. I'm already fat. I don't care about stacks. I just want to fight. No, 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 no. You want to keep stacking up. It does not matter at what point of the game you get. You want to keep going. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, look at this. Uh. Oh baby, oh baby, this game is gonna get fun. By the way, guys, you know, make sure you put down a comment under this video if you haven't done the test your knowledge yet. Just you know, put down a comment because I'm doing a skin giveaway on YouTube and Instagram. I think this month is gonna be the last one because it's actually really expensive. It costs me like 200 euros per month. Unfortunately, I'm not a partner with Riot, so you know, it's all from my own pocket. I still want to do it, but I just don't know if I'm gonna do it next month. But if you want to enter it, YouTube and Instagram, right? So here I got my Frozen Heart. This is a major power spike, guys, because your playstyle is going to change with this item. And what I mean with that is you really want to be in the faces of the enemies. I mean, you already want to be in their faces, but especially now with this item, you do. Because you're going to be slowing their attack speed by 20%. 20, which is huge. You're effectively reducing their damage output by like almost 20% if you don't include ability or uh, yeah, if you don't include abilities. It's really hard to catch up to uh, to uh, Lee Sin because he has Yumo's Ghost Plate. That's why I have the Deathman's Plate as well. But Yumo's Ghost Plate and Mastery, uh, not Mastery, Lee Sin is really hard to catch up, of course. So Lucian, on the other hand, is not that hard to catch up to, but stacks. And there is a random Akshan here for some reason. Of course I kill him and with my ultimate of course you know keep stacking don't waste that ultimate keep getting those stacks on the waves they can't kill me there is no way that these two can kill me because I have conditioning rune I have dead man's plate I have frozen heart they can never ever kill me never boom I have no energy even with the frozen heart I don't even have energy anymore that's crazy 
So here I have 468 stacks and it's crazy that in this game I'm gonna get 400 more stacks than this. That's so crazy to think of like even I'm kind of curious how I did that because I played this game like a few days ago. Like even I'm kind of curious like how the hell did I get that many stacks in the last minutes? Because as I said it grows exponentially. So even in the very late game it's sometimes okay to just completely ignore your team and farm up stacks because you will farm the stacks super fast. Because the cooldown of your first ability is really, really low. <clears throat> oh my god. You guys seeing those crits already? I'm going for that Solaris Charge Blade. I really, really think it's actually a good item as your last item on Nasus. It's like going... F uh, when you play Riven, you know, the, the, the build changed as well. I'm working on a Riven video too, by the way. You go for the same Riven build, but you just incorporate a Solaris Charge Blade because you spam abilities and you're going to be getting a lot of crits out of it. Same goes with Nasus. You spam your first ability and then also your other abilities. So you're going to be getting a lot from that Solaris Charge Blade. That's why it's actually good. So here you can see, you know, I don't care about my team. There is no Elder Dragon or anything, so I'm just farming up. That's what you need to do. And I really want to get my Solaris Charge Blade before the next fight as well. It's really, really important because I'm going to be full built by then. I just need one more wave. Our Jin is just trolling, by the way. He's still trolling. It's kind of funny. The Jin is literally trolling the entire game. I got my Solari. This is where the damage gets real, man. 544 stacks. Solaris Charge Blade, full build. I'm super tanky. It's a. Uh, man, what is this Jin? Really? Yeah, I'm telling my team to go here. I'm telling them to go. Because this, this, you won't get any stronger than I am right now. This, this is the real, real power of Nasus. Let's take a look at this. Pretty sure Lee, Lee is going to kick me away. Yep, there it is. Oh. Yes, baby. Yes, baby. He had to waste his kick on me. So he wasn't able to kick the, the to kick the Vukong. That was really really good. However, this doesn't mean that we win the game because you know my team is actually super bad. The Jin is trolling. My team is really not doing that much. Um, <laughs> but I am Nasus with almost 600 stacks, so it only gets better and better from here. And guys, if you're enjoying the video, please make sure you give it a like. And here you can see, you know. This is yet another tip like it's funny that during the whole video I'm just teaching you how to get stacks because this is this is the second fundamental of Nasus the first one is drafting and then the second one is getting as many stacks as possible that's that's it guys and then of course the way that you want to fight with Nasus is it's honestly not that hard to play Nasus in team fights all you do is you use your ultimate you use your second ability on an enemy champion who has a lot of attack speed I repeat you use your second ability on an enemy champion who has a lot of attack speed, which is going to be the ADC or the Dragon Laner in 90% of the cases. Because a lot of people forget that the second ability not only slows the enemy by a lot for 2 seconds, it also reduces the attack speed by a lot. Like, it's so much. So you're going to be slowing and reducing the attack speed of the enemy ADC, effectively making them pretty much useless for 2 seconds. And the cooldown of the second ability is what? Like, I think six seconds or something? Pretty sure it's only like six seconds. So you want to be hard focusing the enemy ADC with that one. And then, of course, you engage. You use your third ability on as many enemies as possible. Here, I actually filled my third ability, which is really, really stupid. Because your third ability not only deals damage, it also reduces their armor, of course. And that's also what a lot of people forget. And when you reduce their armor, you and your teammates are going to deal an insane amount of damage to that enemy. You can see we're actually clearly struggling in this team fight. How tanky is this Lee? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That that one ran out. So I need to show I need to go to the next one, which is Nasus 2. Apologies. There it is. Yeah, here it is. And continue watching. Oh, look at that damage. Oh, look at that damage. And see, the funny thing is you have so much vampirism as well. Like, you, as a Nasus, you never want to run away. Well, of course, sometimes you want to run away. But what, I, what I'm trying to say with that is you want to keep fighting. Because if you just basic attack, use your first ability, keep, just keep damaging, you have like, what, 20% physical vamp or something? So if you do 1000 damage, 
you're going to heal up 200 of it, something like that. So you want to keep fighting because you're going to heal up. It just all perfectly works together because you have a lot of HP, you have a lot of armor, you have magic resist, and you have a lot of vampirism. So you want to keep fighting and fighting and fighting, you know, to just keep healing up that HP. Thus effectively making you tankier, allowing you to do more damage. Just, you know, that's how Nasus works. You want to keep fighting, you want to keep going and going and going. <clears throat> So, you know, um, as a Nasus, use the second ability on an ADC, spam your first ability, use your third ability on as many enemies as possible to reduce their armor, and of course, you use your ultimate when you engage in a team fight. Those are the fundamentals of playing Nasus. That's how you play Nasus, really. We really filled here, by the way. Luckily, we got the Baron, but you can see the Delusion is actually dealing a lot of damage to me. I need to be a little careful here. Don't want to die. What? Look at that. Look at the healing. Just look at how much I'm... What is he doing? Oh, what is he doing? Look, keep fighting, keep fighting. You don't want to run away. You want to keep fighting. Even though I lost that fight, uh, that's the best thing that I could have done there. You just want to keep fighting. Um, Fortunately, I just got caught out two versus one there. It's not that good for me. Now, it's kind of problematic because my team could die. I just entirely throw the game. So this was really, really stupid of me, of course. This was really, really stupid. So in this moment of the game, the reason that I said that Nasus is really, really powerful in the mid game and could be struggling in the very late game is because the enemy is going to have Mortal Reminder more, and the Green Book, but especially Mortal Reminder because not only does it have 30% armor penetration or 40%, sorry, not only does it have 40% armor penetration, it also reduces your healing by like 60%. So, of course, you know, that, that's the healing that you get from your passive, which is, which is huge. This is huge. Like, this is what, this is what Nasus really struggles against. Because, um, yeah, it's going to reduce your healing by a lot. It's going to go right through your armor. So, the enemy Lucian, for example, is going to shred through me. He's going to deal so much damage to me. Of course, I'm taking the red buff because we don't have a dragon laner. <laughs> Oh, the video is 32 minutes long already. These are banger videos, honestly. I'm pretty sure you guys really enjoy those types of videos. I really enjoy making them because I get very hungry afterwards. So eating afterwards feels really good. Yeah, you know, even though I'm in the lane, always going for them stacks, man. Always keep going for the stacks, guys. This is your mindset. It does not matter how far we are into the game. You always want to go for stacks. Here you can see, you know, just keep going for the stacks. Keep going for the stack. No, that, that, that's a bit of a meme. Like at this point of the game, you do want to help your team, of course. As you can see, I'm helping my team here. But during, you know, the, when there is not that much happening, I'm just going for the stacks, of course. Here, you know, I can just get the third. Boom. When you, you do 1000 damage to turrets with your first ability, by the way, if you have a lot of stacks. <laughs> Look at that crit. Uh, ooh, ooh, I don't know where that came from. I dealt 1,000. I dealt almost 1,800 damage with the magic damage too, because the Solaris Judgment gives me magic damage as well. On that minion, by the way, which is so stupid. The damage is just stupid. What am I doing though? Oh, body block. Thank you. Akshan dealing so much damage though. You can clearly see that the Solaris Judgment is actually doing work for me. Because it's like I'm creating so much with it with the first ability as well. Here, you see that? Like for one item, it, it's doing really a lot of work for me in the very late game of this game. 740 stacks, by the way, guys. I want to remind you. 741 stacks. 752. Man. <laughs> what is this? Just what is this? <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Senna asked me how many stacks. <laughs> We literally have Senna and Nasus. Me with 752 stacks and the Senna, how many? She says it in the chat. Uh, I think it was like 170, 172. I don't remember. It was a few days ago. Of course, taking stacks. You know, Yeah, 170. So I've have you guys ever seen a Nasus with 776 stacks? What? Oh my god, man. We're 27 minutes into the game. At this point, 
I'm just having fun. I want to get as many stacks as possible at this point. Like, obviously, at this point, you don't want to be getting stacks. You just want to finish the game. But I'm having I'm having the time of my life right now with Nasus. So, I'm just going for the stacks, guys. <laughs> look at this. Just look at this. The cooldown of my first ability is at two and a half seconds. So, it's really, really low. I can just really spam the hell out of it. Eight hundred and twenty-four stacks. 824 stacks should i repeat or have you guys heard it correctly and saw it correctly 824 stacks and the only way that i was able to get that is through all the tips and tricks that i gave to you guys on how to accumulate the most the most stacks possible in a game i could have actually had 900 if i didn't feel that infernal dragon fight if i just had gone to my team look at this i dealt 50,000 damage and i tanked 57,000 damage so as an Asus, you can do it all here. I tanked 56.7 thousand damage and I did 50 thousand damage as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this long ass Nasus video. I mean, you guys always do, but <laughs> make sure you give the video a like. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in the next Wild Drift video. Bye bye.